Today, I'm going to help you understand contextual tabs in RAD Ribbon View. As a reminder, RAD Ribbon View is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight and RAD controls for WPF control suites for .NET XAML development. In today's video, first we'll do a really quick overview of implementing RAD Ribbon View, then we'll look at a basic tab setup. Once we have that all covered, we're going to see how quickly and easily we can convert a basic tab setup into one that uses contextual tabs, and how we can do a really quick demonstration of a contextual tab in action. Stepping into Visual Studio, you can see I've already created a brand new project, of course using the Telerik Visual Studio extensions, and I've added some ribbon tabs, ribbon groups, and some buttons. So we actually have something to look at. I'll go ahead and run this so we can see this in action, then we'll step through the code, and then we'll move on to contextual tabs. So you can see now Internet Explorer is loaded up. We have two tabs. This one says it's hidden, but of course you can see this right now. And this one is always on. What we have here though is a toggle button, and we're going to make use of this to demonstrate the contextual tabs feature. Close Internet Explorer and step back into Visual Studio. We'll take a quick look at our XAML before we actually add our contextual tabs. Scrolling down through Ribbon View, we can see some familiar faces such as application name and title. We can also see we have a ribbon tab defined with a ribbon group and three buttons a second ribbon group with a rad toggle button and a regular ribbon button and then we have our tab that we want to be hidden but it's not quite hidden so we're going to go ahead and fix that in order to do this we'll go ahead and scroll up and within rad ribbon view we need to add something to our contextual tab groups so we'll say telerik rad ribbon view dot contextual and wait for IntelliSense to catch up contextual groups and within here we want to add a telerik rad ribbon contextual group and here we, all we really need to add is the X name, is X hidden. Close that out, and we now have a contextual tab group. But of course, everything's still displaying. So we need to take this name and scroll down to the tab that we want to be able to hide, the tab we want to add to this group, and say contextual group name is X hidden. So we're almost there now. Because we have a contextual group, we're tying a tab to a contextual group, but we need to be able to set the is active on that contextual group to modify whether or not we're actually working with and seeing this tab in our ribbon view. Like I said, we can utilize what we already have here to do a really quick demonstration. So going to the rad ribbon toggle button, we'll give this a name. The name is X toggle. Now X toggle is going to have a property is checked. This is what we use to determine whether or not it's checked, obviously. But what we can do is go up to our rad ribbon contextual group and set the is active to a binding using element name this will equal x toggle that we just set and the path will be is checked so now if we go ahead and run our application we'll see that as we toggle the toggle button we actually have our contextual tab showing up go ahead and run this again wait for Internet Explorer to spin up and now we'll notice that we only actually have one tab displayed I didn't go and remove the other one I didn't set any properties on it but because it's part of that contextual group, now I can go ahead and toggle it on or off based on application logic. In our case, we've tied this application logic to the toggle me button. So once I select this, all of a sudden we can see our contextual group is displaying. So any tabs within it will be visible in our application. So of course, now we have access to the can you see me now buttons. And we can also go back to our always on tab. But because our is active is currently set for the hidden contextual group, this tab will always be available until we untoggle. And then all of a sudden, our contextual group and all tabs within it disappear, freeing up some real estate and, of course, making our ribbon bar a little less complex to look at. As you can imagine, there's a lot of scenarios this would fit in with. Just thinking about Microsoft Word, if you're working with an image and table or any other special elements, you'll get ribbon tabs with a lot of commands that you won't normally need anywhere else in the application. Of course, this is just one example of an application that uses contextual tabs. I'm sure you'll find a ton of uses for these in your line of business applications. So I want to thank you for checking out Understanding Contextual Tabs with Rad Ribbon View. And as a reminder, check out the other great videos we have in this series so you can better understand Rad Ribbon View and how it can be applied in your line of business applications.